Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. And thank you for the role that you've played in us being here to celebrate one million book dash books to children for free. If you don't already know me, my name is Julia Norrish, and I am the executive director at Book Dash. I have been privileged to be part of the organization for five years now, since 2015, and it has been nothing but a joy to, to be able to do the work that we do. We are in the Book Dash offices, and I'm here with my colleagues, Dorette Lowe and Zaib Solari, who have been part of the organization since 2018 and 2019, respectively. And they have been so incredibly key to the growth that Book Dash has experienced in the last three years. And just to give you an example of that growth, of the million books that we've distributed since Book Dash started in 2014, 400,000 of those books have gone to children this year alone. And that is really testament to the power of teamwork and the power of our community, who are you sitting with us today. And so again, we thank you for being here and for joining us. And then, of course, the people who founded the organization and got the whole ball rolling in 2014 will be streaming in from their respective locations a bit later this evening. And so you'll meet Arthur, Michelle, Taryn, and Aidan then. And then you all watching at home, we'd like to say again, thank you for the role that you've played. You've all been specifically invited because you have had an impact on the work of the organization across the various parts of what we do in some way or another and have helped us achieve this milestone. We have individual donors here, we have funders, we have volunteer creatives, we have suppliers, printers, content partners, distribution partners, readers, and super fans with us today. And you really can feel proud of yourselves for the role that you've played. A million books in the hands of children that never otherwise would have owned books is really a meaningful contribution to the literacy landscape in South Africa and around the world. We know that owning books from a very young age before school and having easy access to books improves all aspects of a child's future chance of success and also improves the future of society at large. And so we really appreciate having a moment to celebrate that achievement. And now I think I would like to hand over to Dorette to let you know a little bit more about the format of uh, how tonight's going to go. Evening, everyone. My name is Dorette. I'm a director at Book Dash. So tonight we're going to have a few different types of people and uh, kind of channels that we're all um, going to participate through. Um, firstly, there are the three of us here in the Book Dash offices. Uh, we're colleagues, we work together every day, and we run the organization operationally. Then the founders are going to be streaming in, so they're also live, but they are in their own homes, so we're going to be um, hearing from them a little bit later on. And uh, the third element of the mix, really, is a set of pre-recorded videos that we um, got from some of our partners. We requested certain messages from certain of our partners who are hopefully going to share some key insights into what we do at BookDash. So it's a mix of those three things, us live, the founders live, and some pre-recorded messages. Um, and then, of course, there's you, people watching. Um, uh, our people uh, watching from everywhere in the world, we think. So we would love you to also participate in the event by leaving comments. Uh, we're going to be monitoring the comments, and we'll be engaging with them a little bit later um, this, this evening. So share a memory of, uh, like a fond memory of Book Dash that you might have, or tell us where you are watching the event from, or um, tell us what your favorite book title is. Anything that you want to share um, would be really lovely, because it's nice to have a sense of community and know that you are participating. And then, very important, in South Africa, at least, it's cocktail hour. So we hope that um, our South African participants and everyone who's in a region where it's more or less cocktail hour will have something refreshing and bubbly in a glass because um, in a little while, towards the end of our event, we are going to be toasting Book Dash. And it would be lovely to know that you are toasting Book Dash with us. But now, we're going to be watching for the first time ever a five-minute video that was put together for us by Richard Gregory uh, from Good Work 
pictures. He uh, made us a video telling the story of Bookdash from 2014 till now. He did a fantastic job considering what he had to work with. And it was archival footage and WhatsApp videos and some footage sent in by partner organizations and television interviews. And he managed to string it together into a really coherent and lovely video. We're very happy to be sharing it with you tonight for the first time, and we hope that you enjoy it. There's nothing more satisfying to me than to see those scenes of children with books in their hands and the look of joy on a child's face because the book is theirs to own. But really, in the beginning, it was a crazy idea that we thought, let's try it out. We know that 58% of South African households don't have a single book in them, and that 93% have fewer than 10 books in them. We have this big vision that we would like every child to own 100 books by the age of five. Bookdash is a project to put more children's books in the world, and if we want to make them properly accessible, we have to be able to print them cheaply and share them widely and translate them easily. We're here today as a kind of grand experiment in trying to impact or help out the literacy crisis in in some way in South Africa. We basically came up with this idea of Bookdash, which is the hackathon for books. Let's just get right into this. So these books actually were made in 24 hours. Uh, even shorter, 12 hours. 12 hours, yeah. sorry, 12 hours. Now, how? It's just an incredible thing. What we do is we get these teams of writers, illustrators, designers together, and they work for a 12-hour marathon. So I wanted to take part in this because I really feel like I can do more with my talent, and I really just want to give back to the community and like have my name on something so cool. And the idea worked. The first book dashes were such a success. People really wanted to get involved in the movement. I've decided this one day to give this story to the world for free. It's my little payback. A child is a little person in a big world, and books and reading and storytelling just fires their imagination. It opens the world to them. I think we've been flying under the radar for the first two years of our existence, just quietly producing the 50 books that we've done so far. This is not about putting a few books in a small library. This is about putting lots of books in every child's home. And we're part of, really, an international team effort to fix the problem of childhood literacy. And by these amazing people doing this volunteering work today, that becomes possible. You can imagine that the kind of people who give up their their day to create something so good for the world are the kind of people you really do want to hang out with. So every single time I've done this, it's been a blast and the work has consistently been incredible. I'm going to be illustrating 12 illustrations in one day, which is a lot for me because usually a book for me takes about three, three months. I can't believe it's been three and a half years, 86 books so far, and we're going to add another 12 to that. When we were printing and distributing and we hit 100,000 books, we set ourselves the target of a million books by 2020, and it seemed very unachievable at the time and like a crazy moonshot, but we knew we had to put a number on it. So far, Bookdash over the last five years has printed uh, over 430,000 books that have got to children all over the country. And if we can give books to children when they are really, really young, the research shows we can have a massive impact on their development throughout their lives. A lot of the times I think we buy books which are very much based in a UK or US context. But I love the fact that Book Dash books focus on books that are relevant to South African children. We also work with funders and partners to translate the books into the 11 official South African languages. Our distribution partners are organizations across the country who are literacy promotion organizations and they then distribute the books to the children and their families. They work with the parents about why reading is so important. They really help to create this kind of excitement about the joy of reading. There's a large body of research that shows um, how important it is for children to own books in the home. Everything Bookdash creates, we share with the world. So we license everything under a Creative Commons license. That means all the books go onto our website for free. Anyone can read, download, print, distribute, whatever they like to do with those books. And we've seen the world just take that in both hands. It's been incredible. Today is a really important day. We are printing our millionth book. 
and for us it's a sign of the continued momentum behind the Book Dash movement. We've hit the million and that's great, but if we really want every child to own 100 books before the age of five, we need many, many millions more books in the world. We happen to be giving these books away, but we should never forget that on the other end, a child is owning a book and owning often their first book and thinking of themselves as a reader. We've also heard feedback that the kids love the books so much that they put them under their pillows before they go to sleep. And that just lets us know the books are valued and what we're doing is making a difference. grows when you are sharing books with your own child to make sure that other children have the same experience and other families have the same ways to bond uh, and be together. We had taken our inspiration for Book Dash from other organizations uh, like Book Sprints, which showed that it's possible to make books fast, uh, from Pratham Books in India that showed that you can give away large quantities of books, both physically and by sharing the files online for other people to reuse. Um, and of course, from the many illustrators, writers, designers, editors that we knew from our own publishing journeys, who were doing incredible work, and we could put them all together. But really, we had no idea it would grow into this enormous and wonderful community. I still remember giving away those very first books. We gave away 750 books by hand to 250 children at the Jira Center in Mitchell's Play. And we literally handed them each book and helped each child write their name in the front of the book, which is one of those unique things about the Book Dash book that a child gets to write their name in it and own it. Um, and I, you know, obviously, we can't continue with that. We couldn't have reached the scale that we've reached uh, handing each child a book. We've got amazing network, an amazing network of, of distribution partners for that. But I still remember that look of wonder and excitement on those children's faces. And I just imagine that multiplied by hundreds of thousands across the country when I think of those million books that, have not, that are now out there from those 750 that we started with. Yeah, wow, what a memory. Um, and we're really pleased that we're sharing these memories with you and it, we are seeing your memories come through on the chat. Thank you so much. We're also gonna hear some messages from some of the people who've been on this journey with us and who'll help make this all possible. And of course, everything starts with a Book Dash event. So we're very pleased that we're gonna hear from Subi in a moment, who is one of the volunteer illustrators who has been part of Book Dash. And we'll hear from Nani from the Otto Foundation, who are one of our longstanding funding partners. Congratulations, Book Dash. Woo! <laughs> A million copies? What? What? Oh. Hey, I'm Subi Bosa. Book Dash means quite a lot to me. Um, it's been really a pleasure to like work with this wonderful team of passionate people who want to uh, produce books that can reach as many children as possible. My role in Book Dash as an illustrator was to communicate the story as clearly as possible, as quickly as possible, which is a challenge, but a great thrill, especially if you're working with a team of awesome, excellent, talented people. It's truly a blessing knowing that there's so many copies of the books that I worked on distributed already um, and I'm so glad that we could touch so many lives with 
our passion and commitment to BookDash. Congratulations, BookDash. One million books to kids across the country is an amazing achievement. We at the Otto Foundation are so proud to have partnered with you along the way as we've had various events together and produced 32 books um, which get more kids reading. This is what we are passionate about and this is what we have in common. We love that your books are uh, books that children can relate to with stories or characters that they can identify with and of course in the languages that they speak. Um, we really look forward to having more books and more events and more reading in the country. Uh, thank you for this journey thus far and we look forward to more. Thank you. Thank you so much to Subi and Noni for your wonderful messages and to every single creative. We have over 350 creative volunteers who have assisted us to make new beautiful African storybooks that we then share with the world. Subi himself has illustrated three books for us and Noni and the Arte Foundation have funded four Book Dash events at which 32 brand new books were created. And in the last six years, we've created 146 Book Dash titles this way, following the Book Dash method of making books in just 12 hours. And 146 might not sound like a lot, but just to give you an idea, if you read, if you took just five minutes to read every single Book Dash book, you'd have to read for 12 hours straight with no stopping to get through the entire Book Dash collection. So that's a huge contribution to the stories in the world, and especially the type of stories that we produce. Once the books are finished being made by amazing creatives, they are then published to the Book Dash website, where they go online for free for anyone to use. The books then have a life of their own. They get reused and reshared and enjoyed and read by individuals and organizations around the world. And next, we're going to hear from two people, the Rainbow Reads, who are a family that read and enjoy and love the Book Dash books. And then we're going to hear from Storyweaver in India, who reuse, remix, and reshare the books so that the stories can reach even more people around the world. After that, we're going to hear from our fourth founder, Taryn, coming in from Amsterdam, about this digital reach and the open license that is such a core value to Book Dash's uh, work. love to congratulate you on distributing your one millionth book. What a fantastic achievement. <laughs> and what a big milestone. We love having Book Dash books in our home and we've got quite the collection for our little one over here. Um, thank you so much to your volunteers that write all of the stories. Thank you for writing stories that are so authentically South African stories that our children can relate to. I'd like to thank you for this great initiative and everybody else that's involved in it. Thank you very much for making this a huge success and for reaching out to all the households that you guys managed to reach to. Thank you. Definitely. So thank you so much. And from us at Rainbow Reads, we just want to say congratulations. congratulations. Bye. the fastest growing repository of multilingual children's books. Collaboration is at the core of what we do. Bookdash was one of our very early publisher partners and we were delighted to see all of their content under the most liberal of the open licenses, CCBY 4.0. We have 300 Bookdash books on Storyweaver which have been read over 2 lakh times. The 30 new language versions of these books is testimony to the combined power of open licensing and the magic of great stories. One million books printed and distributed across South Africa in only six years. Congratulations Team Book Dash on reaching this very special milestone and wishes of many, many more.
from all of us at Storyweaver. Thank you, Amda, Storyweaver, and all of our other content partners. I'm Taryn, one of the co-founders of BookDash. From the very beginning, our goal was to make books that would be a gift to the world. We wanted the books to have lives of their own, and we knew that an open license was the best way to achieve that and to scale our impact. The power of this open license has meant that BookDash books have been able to travel exponentially. It's really inspiring to consider the global digital reach. Countless digital platforms reuse and adapt BookDash books. From World Reader, who have long been focused on building digital reading communities, to Snaplify's digital library that reaches more than 7,000 schools, and Google's reading initiatives, which have reached millions of children worldwide. Of course, we also print and distribute physical copies of the books so that children can have them in their homes, because book ownership is really, really important to us. To drive home just how many books one million actually is, it's good to imagine them lying next to each other side to side. If you did that, they'd run the entire length of the Comrades Marathon and back again. Now, I've never run the Comrades Marathon because let's face it, 89 kilometers is really far. And I should also point out that these books are made small so that they fit in tiny hands. So it really is a lot of books. Now we're going to hear from Cecily and Juliana who represent two of our funding partners who make it possible for us to print and send these gorgeous books out to our partners. And then we'll hear from one of those partners, Tanda Project in KwaZulu-Natal. That's right. Wow. And congratulations to Book Dash on the one millionth book. And in my hand, I have one of the first books that we helped you to make, or indirectly, during the Durban Book Dash day in 2016. And it's still one of my favourite books, but we have loved every book and every interaction we've had with Book Dash since then. And I'm very proud to say that together we have produced and distributed 360,000 books going to many, many of our Solon partners in three countries. And the thought of a child at the end of the day having their own book with their own name in it still gives me a hell of a kick. Thank you for this journey, and we look forward to more. I'm so excited about your wonderful milestone that you've reached. One million books for young children. Congratulations from the Jim Joel Fund. Hey Book Dash, congratulations on handing out a million books. It's an amazing achievement, and we're so proud to have been part of it over the last few years. I've been to so many households where they said they haven't had, they didn't have any books before, but now, especially after lockdown, um, each child has their own little library, and I've heard amazing stories of children falling asleep amongst their books every night, um, and each one of them has them proudly kept in a little packet um, or in a box, uh, and they're so excited to come outside and show me their books whenever I visit. So thank you for making that happen. Uh, we've been giving out Book Dash books for years now um, and using them in our in our after school and ECD programs, but they really came in handy big time during lockdown. Um, we basically ran learning at home and were able to basically run it the way, run, run normal Tonda based around storybook themes. Um, and we were able to use the Book Dash books in in the kids' homes. Um, so it was, yeah, it was really good and it really helped us to, um, yeah, kind of bring reading and learning more, more into um, a lot of the parents' kind of mindset. And uh, yeah, kind of, uh, I think we got a lot, a lot of our parents much more engaged in the kids' learning. So yeah, they were really helpful. Thanks. Uh, I am a home visitor. Uh, as a home visitor, uh, the books that uh, the children and the parents love a lot, it's spring loaded and they manage to follow the characters and they enjoy the book very much. During lockdown, these books have helped us a lot in our community. Our kids in the community didn't have books, but now they've got books in their homes and they love them very much. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much to Cecily and Juliana and every single funding partner who has come on board in the last six years to believe in the impact that book ownership can have and in our vision of every child owning 100 books by the age of five. Thank you to the team at Tanda as well. You do amazing work. We were lucky enough to visit you in February just before travel restrictions came in. And you really, our work would be nothing without our distribution partners who provide support to the communities and caregivers and children and really give our books meaningful channels into the homes. One of the amazing things about BookDash is that we practice thoughtful book distribution. So every single book dash book that reaches a child, every single of the million books that have gone to children so far, have been through vetted, trusted organizations who are literacy promotion organizations or early childhood development organizations. And so the books go out with support and mediation and extra special support for the families that are receiving the books. And I think that that, along with the fact that the children own and write their names in the books, is something very special. So thank you to all of the hundred partners that we work with around the country who really do give us channels directly into children's homes and hands and hearts. And now, as promised, we've been watching the comments and thank you for all the ones that you have been leaving. And Dave's gonna pick out a couple and Dave and Dorette will, will chat about uh, what that means to us. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for sending in your comments. We really appreciate all the well wishes. Our first comment um, comes from Juleka at 025, the, one of our distribution partners. They say, congratulations to BookDash team and all the creatives around them. It is such joy for us to watch you guys grow from strength to strength and distribute your awesome books into the sticks in KZN and the Eastern Cape. What an asset for SA's rural communities. Thanks, Ed. We've been getting fantastic comments from everyone, so we've really had to cherry pick um, ones that we feel also represent perhaps a sector or, or some of the people that we work with, the different uh, kind of groupings. And so I think what Julika touches on there is something which is so important for us, and that is that our books go where books don't usually go. Um, we manage to get books through our partners into really rural and remote um, areas, underserved communities, um, where and we know this from our feedback from partners, where very often it is the first book that a child owns, and they get it from BookDash. So thank you for that comment. And then the next comment comes from Michelle Preen. Um, let me just find a comment quickly. Sorry about that. Michelle Preen, she's one of our volunteers. She says, so happy and proud to be part of this amazing initiative. Would have ever thought I'd write a wordless book. Many people, I tell, still can't get their head around it. And then, of course, there's the war talks bum in the, lost lo in the lost laugh. Helen Moffat and I still laugh about it. <laughs> so Michelle is one of our writer volunteers, and she's written more than one book. But perhaps to specifically, I'm not going to talk about the war talks bum, <laughs> but I will talk about wordless books and um, how incredibly useful they are and how children love them mm -hmm. and how... ECD practitioners love them. They transcend all language barriers, so they can go into any kind of community in South Africa, whether it's Sepedi or Tosa or um, a very multilingual situation. The wordless books are fantastic. Mm -hmm. They're also great because they allow children to actually create their own stories. So every single time a child reads that wordless book, um, a new story emerges. Mm -hmm. When older children read the wordless books, the story is a lot more complex because yes. they notice more details and they've got more sophisticated ways of telling the stories. When really young children read the books, it's much more simple and possibly a bit repetitive. <laughs> but um, so our wordless books have been wildly popular and we're very happy to be able to contribute them. The last point about wordless books is, of course, that they um, also help with power relations in the kind of reading, share, book sharing situation because... Sometimes the caregivers or the guardians or the parents, the adults who are reading, are not literate, and they can still, in other words, share the story with the children. Um, and also sometimes young children feel very frustrated about the fact that they can't decode text. Yeah. They hate that. And this removes that kind of frustration because they can still read it and even though there's no text. Story. Let's do one more. One more. Uh, there was a lovely comment here from Lindy Officer. She's one of our distribution partners. 
Mama Temba is so grateful and proud to have been a recipient distributor to give these wonderful books to newborn babies in Helderberg District. So, Julia has spoken about um, the fact that our distribution partners are ECD organizations, literacy organizations, etc. We've heard from, from the Solon um, and the Jim Joel, and they, they all work in, in that sector. But about a year or so ago, we started also um, distributing through a new channel for us, which is the healthcare system, um, where it just makes so much sense yes. that um, when a child sees a healthcare practitioner, it's someone who's trusted, it's someone in a position of authority, um, and that together with that visit, a book is given, or a book is given away as a gift. Um, it encourages really strong, positive behaviors in terms of reading, mm -hmm. and we're very happy to have been able to distribute a large number of books through these new, for us, yes. healthcare channels. Right, so we don't have time to read many more <laughs> comments, but please do keep them coming. Um, because it is lovely for us and we, we are kind of capturing them through screenshots so we'll know what everybody is, is saying to us. Um, and it really is very wonderful for us to have our community together in this way, knowing that you're participating, knowing that you are with us in spirit, even though we can't all be together physically. Um, so yes, keep on sending your comments. We really love looking at them. Now we're going to hear from um, two very powerful women who um, are the driving forces behind Santa Shoebox. The first is Debbie Zelezniak, who is the, um, really, the COO, CEO, I don't know, but she's the powerhouse between all the operational and strategic thinking around Santa Shoebox. And Irenae Peters, who's the founder of Santa Shoebox. And we've got many partner organizations um, that we love working with, but in this particular case, Santa Shoebox was the channel through which our one millionth book was distributed. So let's hear from them. The Santa Shoebox project has walked a three-year journey with BookDash, having distributed over 170,000 books to underprivileged children throughout South Africa. It is of enormous benefit and hugely meaningful to be able to make available to these children their very own books, to be read to their siblings, to have them read by their parents. It really is a game changer. The fact that both our organizations are reaching their millionth beneficiary this year is what goosebumps are made of. Very soon, little Leander in Peter Maritzburg will open his Santa shoe box and in it will be a book, a book dash book with a gold sticker commemorating this momentous milestone. We love what you do, Bookdash. We respect you, we admire you, and we absolutely love working with you. Congratulations on your millionth book. The collaboration between Santa Shoebox and Bookdash is nothing short of a marriage made in heaven. It started over a cup of tea in a little tea garden at the Stark Airs Nursery in Cape Town. And since then, Booktash has enhanced our Santa Shoe Boxes with their beautiful books. When Santa Shoe Box took these books and put them in the hands and the homes of thousands and thousands of children around South Africa and, and Namibia. So many of these children would be lucky to have a little reading corner at school. Now they have them in their homes, read by themselves, read by their siblings, read by their parents. 2020 is the million for Santa Shoe Box, reaching our millionth recipient and millionth for Booktash printing their millions book and I have been in a very fortunate position today to have given this book to the millions recipient uh, of Santa Shoebox. We know that the love of books and reading will not only enhance and improve literacy but it touches every single developmental aspect of a child's life and I am so extremely proud to be involved with this. I want to thank Bookdash for the work that you do and congratulations on your million. Thank you so much, Debbie and Irene, for the wonderful messages and for the reminder of the humble beginnings of that partnership that has now seen 170,000 books go to children and hopefully many more in the future. It's really apt that we could celebrate our millionth milestones together 
and we, we're very grateful for the partnership that we have. Everything that we do at Bookdash is for children who are five years old and under and for the loved ones in their life to share stories with them and to reap all the benefits from that. We have um, a very special guest here today, one of the founders who you saw earlier, who was just over a year when Bookdash really got going and got started. And his name is Aidan Atwell. And as Bookdash has grown, so has Aidan. And while in the beginning his parents used to read lots of the Bookdash books to him and they would enjoy the stories together, Aidan is now a very capable and avid reader himself. And anyone that has been at a Bookdash bookmaking event knows that the highlight of the event is story time at the end of the day, where the creative teams gather together and we all listen to the brand new stories that were made in just 12 hours. And it's the most wonderful, like beautiful, satisfying experience to have books read to you in the way that you know the books will be read to children that we get the books to. And so what we have now today is something very special. Aidan, who was very small when Bookdash started, is now going to read to us the first Bookdash book that was ever made called Sleepy Mr. Sloth. And we really hope you enjoy it. So take it away, Aidan. Sleepy Mr. Sloth. One day Mr. Sloth came to visit. He said, oh, I'm sleepy. I need a good branch for a bed. Yawn, yawn, yawn. I'm quite good at climbing. I know how to swing, but sleeping's my favorite, favorite thing. This branch looks lovely. I think I'll sleep here. And you, don't you think that's a splendid idea? Oh no, Mr. Sloth, a giraffe's eating there. You might think you're lunch and start nibbling your hair. Ow! This branch looks lovely. I think I'll sleep here. And you, don't you think that's a splendid idea? Oh no, Mr. Sloth, there's a beehive right there. You'll never get to sleep with those bees everywhere. This branch looks lovely. I think I'll sleep here. And you, don't you think that's a splendid idea? Oh no, Mr. Sloth, that's a snake over there. Not a branch, poor old snake. You gave him quite a scare. This branch looks lovely. I think I'll sleep here. And you, don't you think? That's a splendid idea. Oh no, Mr. Sloth, there's a bird squawking there. You'll never get to sleep with that noise in the air. Try climb one more branch, it was a, Mr. Sloth, they all said. And that branch was just the right one for his bed. The bird and the snake, the giraffe and each bee, we're happy to have Mr. Sloth in their tree. The end. Thank you so much, Aidan. That was brilliant. Well done, my boy. Now, I hope everybody has a glass of something celebratory and sparkling in their hand. Uh, this is ginger beer. This is not. <laughs> now time to say cheers to Book Dash and the million books in the world. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's a big <laughs> I took a sip of that one already. Oh, they showed the pictures. No, mm -hmm. see? Yes, they did. My dad, did they see AI? Make it look now. I'll be celebrating. Yay. I don't know what's happening. I'm just going to make <laughs> celebratory movements. <laughs> oh, celebrating to book dash. The cake is being cut. Awesome. <laughs>
everyone, we want to really thank you for joining us to celebrate this momentous mild, milestone. Um, it's quite overwhelming, actually, for all of us who, um, for us, this is our life, our working life, at least. Um, so thank you very much for joining us and for making this a very special day. Um, and thank you, everyone who's watching and who's tuning in for the role that you played, because this is a collective effort. Um, in its nature, by its very nature, Book Dash cannot exist if it isn't for all the wonderful gifts that um, the volunteers give us in the form of the, of the books. So it's a collective effort, um, and we really, really appreciate it, and we would never have made one million books without you. Yeah, and we've done one million, so one million down, and that really is worth celebrating, as you've seen, <laughs> and as you've hopefully joined us in. But if we are to achieve our vision, which we are quite serious about, we need to do 599 million more books. And so we hope that you will keep spreading the word, tell people about BookDash, keep being involved in the way that you are already involved, and keep walking the journey with us towards a world where every child owns 100 books by the age of five. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. You have more cake. Okay. <laughs>